Field Marshal George Wade PC was born 1673 and he died the 14th of March 1748, was a British army officer who served in the Nine Years War, War of the Spanish Succession, Jacobite Rising of 1715 and War of the Quadruple Alliance before leading the construction of barracks, bridges and proper roads in Scotland. He went on to be a military commander during the War of the Austrian Succession and Commander-in-Chief of the Forces during the Jacobite Rising of 1745. The government of George I sent Wade to inspect Scotland in 1724. He recommended the construction of barracks, bridges and proper roads to assist in the control of the country. On the 10th of May 1725 he was appointed Commander-in-Chief of His Majesty's Forces, Castles, Forts and Barracks in North Britain, tasked with carrying out his own recommendations. Over the next 12 years Wade directed the construction of some 240 miles, 390 kilometers of roads. Also 30 bridges, including the Tay Bridge at Aberfell Day. General Wade's military roads link the garrisons at Ruthven, Fort George, Fort Augustus, and Fort William. Reference in verses said to be inscribed on a stone at the start of one of his military roads in Scotland, Ruthven Barracks, King Gussie. If you had seen this road before it was made, you would lift up your hands and bless General Wade. General Wade also organized a militia named Highland Watches, calling on members of the landed gentry to sign up and raising the first six companies in 1725, three of Campbell's and one each of Fraser's, Grant's, and Monroe's. Also in 1725, Wade put down an insurrection after the government attempted to extend the malt tax to Scotland and enraged citizens in Glasgow. He drove out the military and destroyed the home of their representative in Parliament. Wade he was promoted to Lieutenant General on 15th April 1727. On 1 June 1732 he became Governor of Berwick-upon-Tweed and on the 19th of June 1733 he became Governor of Fort William, Fort George and Fort Augustus. He was promoted to General of Horse on the 17th of July 1739. He raised four more Highland Watch companies in 1739. These were subsequently reorganized as the Black Watch Regiment. He still had the time to sign his support to the Foundling Hospital which was established in 1739 in London. On the 22nd of June 1742 he was appointed Lieutenant General of the Ordnancel and on the 24th of June 1742 he was appointed a member of the Privy Council. October 1745 during the Jacobite Rising. Wade concentrated his troops in Newcastle upon Tyne on the east coast of England. However, the Jacobite forces advanced from Scotland down the west coast of England via Carlisle into Lancashire and the speed of their advance left Wade scrambling. In freezing conditions and with his men starving, he failed to counter their march into England or their subsequent retreat back from Derby to Scotland. Wade was replaced as commander-in-chief by Prince William of Cumberland who led the army to success at the Battle of Culloden in April in 1746. It was because of the difficulties that General Wade encountered marching his troops cross-country from Newcastle to Carlisle, that he built his military road west of Newcastle in 1746, entailing such destruction of Hadrian's Wall. Wade helped plan the road, but had died before construction began in 1751. His military road is still in use today as the B6318. Wade received mention in a verse sung as part of God Save the King around 1745. Lord, grant that Marshal Wade may, by thy mighty aid, victory bring. May he sedition hush and, like a torrent, rush rebellious Scots to crush. God save the King. General George Wade died, unmarried, on the 14th of March 1748 and is buried at Westminster Abbey. His life is recognized by a monument created by Louis-François Rebilliac.